As Andre approaches, one of the swimmers starts unloading his catch bag back into the water. But the swimmer's paying no attention to Andre. And when Andre finally reaches him, he plays innocent. Oh, I met him in the water trying to get a feed up. Are we aware of the size limit for power? Once they're in the bag, they're deemed to be taken. What they come here? Taken from the seabed. Oh, all right. While he may deny any wrongdoing, the rules state only legal shellfish can be placed in the catch bag. A quick measure confirms the power are in fact undersized. There's three undersized power under here. I can. But suspect he had more. Oh, I suspect that there was quite a few. It appeared that he was emptying it right from when he saw me started walking down. So, with no hard evidence, fishery officers can only concentrate on the three undersized power. Bit of an idiot, mate. Despite the abuse, Andre is still keen to help the man see the error of his ways. Is there a... Don't want the rules? Is it official? No, no, it's just the rules and rigs, man. Just the latest stuff, bro. The latest ones. The three illegal power are returned to the sea, while Taroy gives the offender one last chance to come clean. Really need to know who, who got the um, power. Like who, who put the power in the beds in the bag? Right, we're going to call the kids. For his troubles, the man received a $250 infringement notice for undersized power and a warning notice for obstructing a fishery officer. But it could have been much worse if Andre had got to the bag in time. But power poachers aren't the only thing on the agenda today. With a local fishing comp running, it's decided to set up a checkpoint up the road from the boat ramp. It's not long before the cars are queuing up for inspection. Where's all this from, bro? Uh, all this here is from my uh, today's catch. There's 30 snapper in there. There's three of us. I've just taken the heads away and I'm dumping them off at a mate's house. OK, where's, where's the rest of your crew? Up at the house, mate. OK. Um, yep. um, These are my fillets here from today. These are my fillets from uh, yesterday. These are my kawai that I'm taking back to smoke. The thing is, bro, um, you know you're in our TNA. Yeah. How am I supposed to know that's all from different days and not from today? All of that is from today because I give my I got a, a Maori friend out here. I give him a bin every time I go fishing. I give him my bin. That's cool, bro. But what we've got to do is account for this fish. There's three anglers, right? But you're here by yourself. Uh, yeah, if you can get them, yeah. You know we're gonna have to do that. Oh. Yeah. You got a phone so I can ring them up and tell them to come down here. Yep. I need them to come down to verify that they've been angling, fishing with me. That I'm not a rapist of the sea. While no one's saying this man's raping the sea, his hugely convoluted tail needs some explaining. Auckland Harbour, and a call has come into Coast Guard operations from a boat on the rocks. Calm Beach, Waiheke Island. Trillion Rescue Alpha volunteer crew immediately tune in. Yeah, Palm Beach. The ground on rocks. Coast Guard Alpha on the way to Palm Beach. Travelling at speed in rough conditions makes it almost impossible to plot a response course. There's people in the water around it. The yacht, Bear Essentials, outboard has failed. The skipper's dropped anchor in an attempt to keep it off the rocks, but it's no match against the surging tide. Skipper Roy needs to get close enough to throw a tow rope, but he's battling the rolling swell in shallow water to ensure his own boat doesn't end up smashed on the rocks. Bail throwing my tow line, mate. I've only got 1.2, I'm backing out. Throw him a bigger line as soon as you can, please. Throw it. Throw the line. The pressure and the unpredictable swell are making everything more difficult. Quick, mate. Grab it. Grab that line, buddy. Fires off. Backing out. 
Fingers clear, Phil. Fingers clear. Start pulling your anchor up. We're tied. Tied. Put on. If they don't time the tow perfectly with the swell, this rescue attempt could end in disaster. Snapped. Tow line. Back at the checkpoint in Raglan, it's been a day of bad attitudes over simple infringements. Come down to verify that they've been angling, fishing with me, that I'm not a rapist of the sea. So is he on his way? Yeah. And this man is no different, as his story about his catch becomes more convoluted. Yeah, if you saw how much fish we caught today and how big the fish were, you'd be like, oh, that, that, that's not even half the fillets from today. There appears to be something in the air as the skipper arrives with an attitude to boot and does nothing to help clear things up. I've got too much fish in my car, mate. No, you haven't. Well, there's no way you've got too much fish in your car. The law is simple. You're allowed 10 snapper a day, and the man should have had yesterday's and the other wrangler's catches bagged and tagged, as it's his responsibility to prove who the extra fish belong to. How many bags of snapper? There's one bag of fillets from yesterday, two bags of fillets from today. How much is in each bag? Oh, God. No. Who's, whose bag does belongs to who? Well, this is all the fish from yesterday and today yeah. that three of us caught. And so which two... bag is yours? Well, they're all actually they're my bags because these guys don't want to keep their fish. They don't want it to go off in their fridge. Oh, yes, get them out of blurry. So we're not allowed to store fish in our fridge overnight. And then Bro, you can, but it. you've just got to prove that whose is, who's fish is it and when did it, when did it, when it's did you all catch it? While Taroi tries to establish yeah, what story the men want to stick to, the cars just keep on coming. Doing a good job. Yeah. You know, if they think they should, yeah. Slam everyone that breaks the rules. With the realisation they could be in trouble, the attitudes are dropped. I'm just saying, next time I go fishing with these guys and we get a limit of fish, can I only take my 10 snapper heads to give to my mates? And with the third fisherman showing up, the man's story finally makes some sense. All that was about was the yeah, three lots of fish. I yep. needed to see the three fishermen. Yeah, yeah, That's nah, all. Cool. Uh, okay, I, so I mean, I'm not. I met them. I'm not going to yeah. rob the ocean when I live next here. Next time, bro, just name the bags. It's that simple. Name the bags, date the bags. Name, name and date. But he's still got a word or two. Hear that, everyone in New Zealand? Name and date your bags of fish, <laughs> otherwise you'll get <laughs> Come on, bro. With the misunderstanding cleared up, the man's in high spirits, unlike his car, which is decidedly flat. Drop the flat now! <laughs> 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 Thanks, guys. Over there. At Waiheke Island, Coast Guard's Rescue Alpha is battling to save a yacht stranded on rocks. And now with a snapped rope... Snapped, tow line. ..the yacht is cast to the mercy of the waves. Rescue Alpha needs backup from the larger Coast Guard rescue vessel, and fast. Um, do I want their ETA is, please? Can we have an ETA, please? Uh, we're about eight minutes out. Uh, eight minutes out. Negative. Negative. Eight minutes will be too late. OK, I'm just going to go and we're going to get one shot at that blue line. With the yacht only metres from the rocks, Rescue Alpha is on its own. OK, mate, just grab it, please, and hide off as best you can. OK, I'm going to back out and turn around. So give them plenty of line. No, let it out. Let it go. Listen to me. I said I'm going to back out. You right, mate? Set tied up, yep. Everyone holds their breath as the tow rope picks up the slack for the second time. With so much tension on the rope, everything depends on the yacht skipper's timing. He needs to wait for a good set of waves to raise his boat off the rocks and then haul the anchor as fast as he can. Hold the anchor there. Hold still. I think we're off. We're making oh. ground. <laughs> well done, team. We have the vessel bear essentials of the knock. <laughs> well, the guy on board looks OK. Let's bring him alongside, guys. OK, neutral. The boat appears to be undamaged, but yacht skipper Andrew's plan for a relaxing day sailing has been dashed on the rocks. We're just setting off and lost propulsion on the... Uh... Uh, the motor was revving like crazy and we're going nowhere. We were all of a sudden just swung round onto the rocks but dropped the anchor. But we were just too close. Yeah, the Coast Guard is definitely uh, 
definitely saved the day. 